how to install Ghost AI agent. So from here, as you can see, I've successfully installed Ghost and I can do all this with it. Not only that, I also have the option to come in and then chat with Ghost. So let's say something with Ghost like, hi Ghost. And then as you can see, Ghost is working on it. Okay, so Ghost has successfully replied and then it's asking me what can it help me with today. So let me show you step by step how to also do the exact same thing and then install it. So from Google, come and then search for GitHub code name goes and then hit enter it is going to bring you right here come and select the official site of github pages it is going to bring you right here where you have the option to come and then install the goose okay by simply clicking on install goose so when you click on it it's going to bring you right here to the installation page and you have to come and then select your operation system okay mine is windows so i'm going to select windows and then you have the option to come and then choose either the Goose CLI or the desktop. So I'm going to go with the Goose desktop just like this one. And after selecting it, simply come here to where we have the download and then come and click on it. So when you click on it, it is going to download as you can see, and it has successfully finished downloading. Let's click on this to open it. So over here, you have to come and then unzip the file by right clicking on it and then simply come and then click extract all so when you click on it it is going to ask you to choose your folder destination so you can come and then click on the browser and then choose it but i'm going to leave mine at the default and come and click on extract so it is going to extract just wait for it to finish extracting and this is the folder okay good now all that you have to do is just right click on it and then click on open and then this is what we are going to use okay that takes windows okay that is what we are going to use what you have to do now is to come and then drag this onto the desktop so let's drag it to the desktop just like this one okay so as you can see we have the text windows at the desktop good now let's open it and then see that we have the goose in it so as you can see we have the goose executes here good now what you have to do now is that from your search come and then type c MD, okay cmd and then come and select the command prompt and then it will open the command prompt just like this one okay now what you have to do is to let the command prompt know that our disk windows is on desktop okay so to do that what you have to do is simply come and then type cd then you bring desktop just like this one then you hit enter okay so now we have let it know that it is our desktop okay now let's come and then enter the name that is this dash windows okay so just enter cd again then bring the name that is this dash windows just like this one and then hit enter because that is the name okay and then come and then hit enter so when you hit enter it is going to then go to the disk folder and now let's go and then open the goose by simply typing in goose dot execute okay space version just like this just type in the exact same word and then hit enter and then when you hit enter it is going to open the goose for us so as you can see we have successfully launched our goose now we have to come in and configure our provider by simply selecting an ai model provider okay so when you select the AI model provider, all that you have to do now is to come and then provide your API key, okay, from that provider. And then we have all these providers that you can select, okay, we have all of these. It is many, and then you can pick any of them. We have OpenAI, we have Ulama, and then we have Google Gemini as well. Okay, so you can come and then select any of them. So for this tutorial, I'm going to use Google Gemini. So all that you have to do is simply come and then select the Google Gemini and then come and click on configure. So when you click on the configure, it is going to open just like this. And then you have the option to come and then put in your API key right here. Okay, so when you put it in the box, then all that you have to do is simply come and then click on the submit. So let me show you how to get the API key it's totally free from Google come and search for Google AI studio and then hit enter and when it comes simply come and then select Google AI studio the official one is going to bring you right here to the Google AI studio at the top right hand corner you see that we have 
get API key, just click on it. It is totally free to create an account, okay? So you can come and then get your API key by simply coming to click on create API key. So when you click on it, over here, you have the option to come and then create it. But what you have to do is simply come and then put your mouse at the search and then click on it and come and select Gemini API and then click on it. Over here, you have the option to come and then create it by clicking on create API key in existing project. And that is it. Your API key will be generated for you just like this. You don't have to share it with anybody. Come and click on the copy. And after you have copied it, all that you have to do now is to simply come here and come and then paste in your API key just like this. After pasting it, all that you have to do is simply come here to where we have the submit and click on the submit. And as you can see, we have the check mark here, meaning that it was successful. Now come and click on the launch to launch the goose. And as you can see, we have successfully linked our API and then we are currently using the Gemini 2.5 flash. We can change it anytime by clicking on the settings icon and then we can select it a different model, okay? So now Goose is live and then we can chat with it. So let's come and then ask Goose anything. So I'm going to ask Goose what Goose says about the future with traditional coding and then the AI coders as well. And as you can see, Goose is working on it and then Goose has given us the answer about what it sees the future of coding to be now that we have AI tools. Okay, so if you have any questions, leave in the comment down below, like the video, and then see you in my next video.